Hey guys, it's Toby and we're going to be building a gaming PC for £2,000. Let's go. Alright, first of all we have the Intel Core i7-4770K. This is a quad-core processor clocked at 3.5GHz. As well as this, it also has hyper-threading. This means it will be seen as a quad-core processor on any operating system that you use. Also, we plan on overclocking in this build, and since this is a 4770K, where the K means it's an unlocked chip, we can overclock to our heart's content. Since we're going to be overclocking, we'll need a CPU cooler. And the one we have here is a Corsair H100i. This is a closed loop water cooling system. This means that you don't need to install any fluid or any reservoirs or anything like that. This does it all in one system. It's a 240mm radiator with two 120mm fans and the best way to install this will be on top of the case. Moving on to the motherboard, we have an Asus Z87 Dash Pro. This is arguably one of the best motherboards that you can get in terms of the features for the price. For example, we have two PCI 3.0 slots. This will be great as we're using two graphics cards in this build. As well as this, it's also got six USB 3.0 ports and six SATA 6.0 ports, which means you'll get very fast data transfer speeds on USB 3.0 and on your hard drives as well. Also, this is a great motherboard to be overclocking with since Asus specifically designed it for this purpose. Moving on to the graphics cards, we're going to be using two EVGA GTX 780s. Now, these are the superclocked editions, which means their base clock is higher than the average GTX 780. And as well as this, they also come with a custom cooling fan. Now, these are the best graphics cards that Nvidia currently make. These are better than the Titan because their core clock is much faster, the RAM they're using is much faster, even though the GTX Titan might have double the amount, we're using two graphics cards, which makes up for that. Running these in SLI will not be a problem, most games support this, and as well as this, since we're using two, we're going to get at least 10 to 15 frames, maybe more, maybe less, in certain games. Also, you can overclock these cards using EVGA Precision X. This is software that comes with these cards, and you can push them up to over a thousand megahertz. These cards can also support up to 4K, which would be great if you're using a dual monitor setup playing at 1440p or even higher than that. Also, if you're playing a game that is kind of old and doesn't really need all the GPU support, you can use Precision X to underclock this graphics card, which means it'll be saving energy and performing at a great rate for your game. However, we should also point out that the AMD R9290X is also available, which is AMD's rival to this card. However, on Amazon UK at the current time of making this video, it's currently not in stock or available within two to three months. We'll still include a link to the one that is available for pre-order and by the time you watch this video it might be available. So yeah, moving on to the RAM, we have 32 gigs of G-Skill Rip Jewels X. Now this is DDR3 memory clocked at 1866 MHz. We're using this because we have an i7-4770K and as well as using it for gaming, we can also use it for things such as video editing, rendering, photo editing, CAD cam, etc etc. If you don't need this much memory, you can downgrade to the 16 gigabyte package which will be included in the link below but since this is a £2,000 build we might as well go with 32 gig. For the hard drive we have a Western Digital 2TB Caviar Green. We're going to be using two of these in our build to give us 4TB of storage overall. This will be more than enough for our games, for all the music that you have, for all the videos that you have and as well as this since it's Caviar Green it will be very energy efficient. Also since we have two hard drives you can run these in RAID 0 or RAID 1 which means you can either get more speed from these hard drives or you can get a backup hard drive. Moving on to the SSD, we have a Samsung 840 EVO. This is a 250 gig SSD and we're going to be putting our operating system on this, which means whenever we start it up, it'll be very fast. Whenever we close out, it'll be very fast. And also you can put a lot of programs on this since it's 250 gigs. And also you can put games which you play often on this. Moving on to the power supply, we have a Corsair AX860. This is an 860 watt power supply, which is more than enough for our build. It will support our SLI graphics cards and it will support the low power 4770 Okay. Also, this is one of the most efficient power supplies on the market it's due to its 80 plus platinum certification. What this means is that you'll get efficient, clean energy, and also it can run the, it can run at a very low power mode and save a lot of energy as well. Also, you get seven years warranty. And finally, coming onto the case, we have a Cooler Master HAFX USB 3.0 XL ATX case. This is a very large case since it's XL ATX, which means it will support our motherboard. And as well as this, it will also support our H100i. We can mount this in the top of the case, no problems at all. This really comes down to personal preference but 
but if you'd like a more utilitarian case you can go with the Corsair Vengeance C70. This is a military grade case, it's very sleek, very efficient and it's also big enough to support the H100i and the SLI graphics cards like the HAFX. But again it's down to personal choice, just remember to get something that is good enough to support the H100i and not compromise the water flow. And yeah that's it guys, thanks for listening, leave us a like if you like this video, leave us some feedback in the comments, all the product links are in the description, uh, check out all the other links in the description and we'll see you next time.